Let's look at the example of taking the z-transform of a signal which is a to the n times the unit step, un. And I always like to look at these and think about them as functions. For example here, uh, if a was a number uh, between 0 and 1, uh, then this would be a function because the step function is 0 for all integer values less than 0 and then a to the n uh, when n uh, equals uh, 0 we have 1 and then we would be a, a function which is reducing as an exponential. Okay so that's what this function looks like as a function of n and now we want to take the z transform. It's a discrete time signal and we are interested therefore in the z transform. So the formula here x of z uh, equals from uh, n equals minus infinity to infinity of a to the n u of n times z to the minus n. This is the formula for the z transform. Uh, and so this equals uh, because of the un function, we can sum from 0 to infinity of a z to the minus 1 to the power of n. And this equals, it's uh, an expression that can be uh, looked up, that that summation is a times z to the minus 1, um, where for the, as long as a z to the minus 1, as long as the mod is less than 1. Okay, so this also we can multiply top and bottom by z, so we have z on z minus a, uh, and we rearrange this, we can see that the mod of z has to be bigger than the mod of a. So this is the answer, and then uh, we also just consider what's happening in the z plane. What does this, uh, where does it converge? Where does this hold? Um, this summation converges as long as this holds. Uh, so in the z plane, we have the real part of z, the imaginary part of z, and this mod be, being this, the mod of z being less than the mod of a, is it defines a circle. So there's a circle here of radius a, uh, where if we are outside that circle, because mod of z has to be bigger than mod of a, if we're outside that circle, then we know that this function, this summation, this infinite summation converges and therefore our z transform holds. So our z transform holds in this whole region of convergence. And for z transforms, it's a circular boundary on the region of convergence. And there's a pole at z equals a, uh, because uh, if z equals a, you get an inf infinite value here, and there's a zero at z equals zero in the z-plane. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos on signals and systems.